Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Fall Guys error, fail to log in, please check your internet connection. So if you're getting this message while opening your game and uh, you're not able to access your game, then follow the step explained in this video one by one. Make sure that you do not skip any part in between because that may create trouble and you may not able to fix the problem. The first thing that you need to assure that there is no server outage of Fall Guys. So I will be uh, giving a link in the description. You need to come to their Twitter account and you need to check few top tweets by them. And if there is any outage, they will let you know. And in that case, you need to simply wait until it's been fixed. But if there is no outage, then the next thing that you need to do is you need to uninstall all the Microsoft Visual C++. So just minimize it, uh, press Windows and R key to bring up the run box at the left hand corner and here you need to type appwiz.cpl. Now click OK. The wizard will be coming up here and you need to keep a scroll down and here you will find Microsoft Visual C++. So this can be more in your case, it can be less also. So in my case, you can see I have a couple of them. So I need to uninstall all of the Microsoft Visual C++. You need to do the same. Just make a right click on it and choose uninstall. I have already fixed the problem, so I'm not going to uninstall it. But you need to uninstall all of them. Do the same with all of them. And once all the Microsoft Visual C++ has been uninstalled, you need to visit to another website that the link I will be sharing in the description. And once you come here, you will find my Visual Studio. And it, below that, you will find the link for x86 and x64. So you need to download both of them. And once downloaded, install it. It's very easy to install. I'm just trying to make a video short. So I'm not be explaining you that how you need to install it. But simply click on it. It will be downloaded and then you need to run it. And once you have done, you don't need to uninstall anything, uh, just minimize everything. And now in the next step, you need to run the SFC scan that will be scanning your hardware and many other file of your operating system. So if there would be any trouble, any corrupted file, it will automatically fix it or also it will give you some suggestions. Again, in the search box, type CMD and choose run as administrator so that you should have all the permission to run the command. The black window will be coming up and here you have to type SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. Now this command will take some time because this will be uh, verifying all the system file and everything. So what you can do until it's been 100% completed, we can minimize it and we can proceed with the next step again in the search box type cmd and click run as administrator and now we need to clear and flush dns and reset the network ip so the first command that you need to type here will be ip config space forward slash flush dns hit enter and then you have to type NETSH net winsock reset. Hit enter again. Now it's saying that you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So what we will do, we will wait for the another command that we run in the previous step that was SFC scan. And it's almost completed 75-76% completed. And once it will be 100% completed, it will show you the result that if there was any problem it will let you know that there was some problem and has been fixed so wait until it's been completed okay now you can see it say windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation so in my case as i said i have already run this i have already fixed the problem so you need to do the same probably on your end it may give you that there was some violation found and has been fixed now finally you make a restart and after that once you will restart your PC you will see that the problem has been fixed and uh, please check your internet connection problem is not coming up now. Also make sure that you have the proper internet connection. 
to try to open any other website you can even check your internet speed with this website speedtest.net come to this website click on go and just check your internet downloading and uploading speed and even the ping so right now i have a good internet connection you can see the ping is also good and the connection is stable it's not moving up and down so it means i'm good with this so you also need to check this if you are getting very low speed very poor internet connection high ping in that case you can just try restarting your router and even if that doesn't work then you need to contact your internet service provider let them know that you have a slow internet connection all right so that's all guys hopefully this will work for you and if yes make sure you hit the like subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next video Bye bye